Welcome back everyone and we can see the skies are turning. We're preparing for those that storm that snow headed yeah. our way a few inches in the area. A couple right rounds. Now, though it's not too bad. No, this looks all right. It's a little chilly, but not like it's going to be on the weekend. You could take a whole half hour talking about your forecast because there's a lot going on. <laughs> Can and will. Thanks for the rest of the newscast. No, right. uh, I'll tell you though, my neighbors probably thought I was crazy because I broke out the snowblower on the relatively light round that we had earlier in the week and I, I did it to make Make sure the thing runs and is in working order for this round here. It was just a practice run for me uh, overnight into tonight uh, and through early Tuesday morning is our first wave of this snowfall slash some rain and mixing to move through and then Tuesday late in the afternoon and into the night is really the big round that the winter storm warnings are out for uh, and could bring us some big totals, especially west and northwest of Chicago. Round number one will bring one to four inches of snow. I wish I could put a big old asterisk next to this because there is some complication there with the rain that falls on top of it, but I'll I'll get into that when future cast comes up and the impact will be this tomorrow morning. You'll be likely driving in some snow, if not a rain snow mix, and there will be some snow slash slush on the ground. So your morning drive will be impacted, but it'll be the evening drive specifically west of Chicago that you're going to run into the worst problems because that is where we do have the new winter storm warning. This just got issued a couple of hours ago. It goes from tonight all the way through Tuesday evening. The winter weather advisory covers northern Cook County into DuPage County, Will County and then in everywhere in Northwest Indiana. Northwest Indiana will actually see the most snow early from this, but again, a decent amount of rain does fall on top of that. So this is what the system looks like. It's a pretty big one. Uh, we got a big snow shield here that extends all the way down into even northern Texas, just north of Lubbock, and there's winter storm warnings that follow it. But I want to show you something maybe that you don't normally see. This is the water vapor imagery. Of course, very wet here. The brighter colors are the wetter air. The darker colors are the drier air. And I show you this uh, to show you what we got going on in the panhandle of uh, Texas and Oklahoma. This is some dry air that's wrapping around it. So often a dry slot will form in these storms and it kind of splits up the moisture and could impact our snow totals and put a really sharp gradient on who gets a lot of snow and who doesn't get a lot of snow. So we have to watch that as it develops with the system and that may end up impacting Tuesday snowfall. So if you see a wiggle in the Tuesday snowfall forecast, that's likely the reason why. Here's future cast as we get into tonight, eight, nine o'clock. See our first snow showers along and south of Interstate 80. Switches all the way over to snow. That's wave number one. Everybody gets snow out of it. Could be a decent two, three, four inches of snow, especially in northwest Indiana, before we catch a brief break. Then in northwest Indiana, as the sun starts coming up, look, you get around a round of rain, and this will stay rain for the rest of the event virtually uh, for you. So that one to four inches of snow may end up just becoming a quarter or a half inch of a really slushy mess. It's still going to be a pain to get out of your driveway and everything. It'll be like shoveling four inches of snow, but it may end up a little soupy. If you go out there and try and measure it, you'll say, three, four inches of snow. This is absolutely nothing. So keep that in mind. Then round number two moves in. This will be Tuesday late morning, early afternoon is when the snow really picks up. You can see where that heaviest snow is and then the super sharp cutoff between mixing and then over to all rain. This is at lunchtime on Tuesday evening drive comes around. That's going to be an issue, especially if you're in Chicago and heading anywhere off to the west or northwest. You'll be running right back into the teeth of what has been all day long snowfall. This is 3 p.m. Systems not done. There's that dry air by the Way, trying to work in systems not done here is eight o'clock in the evening. It's still snowing pretty good and we could even see some lingering snow showers into early Wednesday morning. So again, the Tuesday afternoon and the evening time frame is going to be the worst for travel. Uh, if you can take the train in from the suburbs and into the city, that's probably going to be your best bet because the roads are going to be a bit of a pain on the way back. So up to two inches tonight along and north of I'll call it Interstate 88, although most of that two inches of snow is going to fall closer to I 88 and it jumps two to four as you head farther off to the south. Then round number two comes in, mainly rain for northwest Indiana, so you get less than an inch of additional snowfall. Then you start getting over to Whiting and Gary, and you'll see one to three inches of snow. Same deal in Chicago, and then that super sharp gradient. This is where, if I could put a question mark on the forecast, I would put it, is how sharp this cutoff is and how close that five to eight inches of snow actually makes it to the western reaches of, say, DuPage County. If you live out in Aurora, go ahead and bet on at least five additional inches of snow there Tuesday evening and into early Wednesday morning. Could even be more. Then we have a couple of days to catch our breath before another snow system arrives on Friday. That could bring a similar, if not greater amount of snow in some cases, because this system overall looks colder and I don't think we're going to have to deal with the mixing guys. Wow. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.